Hey folks, welcome to our channel. Hope you're doing well. We are from BMN Infotech Private Limited, a leading IT company in India. Today we are talk about Flutter versus React Native which one is best. So let's start the video and know which one is more efficient. React Native by Facebook and Flutter by Google are two hot cross-platform app development technologies creating a buzz. In this video, we will compare both of them in detail from a developer's perspective. What's Flutter and React Native? React Native is a project started by Facebook internally that they open-sourced in 2015. On the other side is Flutter, a project started by Google which they have been heavily promoting since I.O. 2017. Both of these technologies help app developers build cross-platform apps faster by using a single programming language. React Native is already a mature tool and has a huge community, but Flutter also started seeing huge adoption rates since 2017. React Native JavaScript React Native uses JavaScript to build cross-platform apps. JavaScript is a very popular language in the web community at the moment. It is commonly used with React and other popular JavaScript frameworks. Thanks to React Native, web developers can build mobile apps with a little bit of training. With this in mind, companies adopted React Native as a no-brainer. JavaScript is a dynamically typed language and anything can be done with JavaScript, which is good and bad at the same time. Flutter, Dart. Flutter uses Dart programming language which was introduced by Google in 2011 and is rarely used by developers. Dart syntax is easy to understand for JavaScript or Java developers as it supports most of the object-oriented concepts. It's easy to get started with Dart as there is great and easy to follow documentation available on the official Dart site. Pros and cons of Flutter. Like any other framework, Flutter has some advantages and disadvantages. However, the decision on what framework to use is up to the developer. To make the right choice, it is important to compare React Native versus Flutter performance and understand what you like more. Pros of Flutter We'll start with the pros that make Flutter the best choice for the developers. Here's the list of advantages of Flutter over React Native. It looks great. It's rich in widgets. The community is rapidly growing. Well-structured documentation permanent improvements for web development. It requires less testing. The apps are fast. It helps to create the same UI for older devices. Flutter 2 helps to build apps for the web. Cons of Flutter. Even though the list of Flutter advantages is impressive, some disadvantages are still important to consider. It is not native. The apps are bigger than native ones. It still has a limited set of tools and libraries comparing to native apps. These disadvantages are minor, and they do not interfere with app development. However, in some cases, the cons of Flutter may be decisive when choosing a cross-platform development framework. Pros and cons of React Native Both Flutter and React Native have some peculiarities that make them more or less attractive. Here, we will dwell upon the pros and cons of the React Native. Pros of React Native if you are still hesitating whether React Native is worth your attention, the advantages will help you make your mind. It has a hot reload feature, which helps with fast coding. One code base that helps to create apps for two and more platforms. It uses JavaScript. The code can be reused. It has an active and supportive community. If you hire React.js developers, they easily learn React Native. It saves up 50% of the time on testing. It has fantastic performance. Nader Dabit, developer advocate, AWS, defines the following pros of React Native. Faster speed development. Lower cost of development. Code reuse. Easier to find developers. Ship across multiple platforms. Possible to ship over the air updates bypassing App Store, Play Store. Cons of React Native. Although there are many advantages, there are still some disadvantages in React Native usage. Here they are. Still, it is not native. It does not have many out-of-box components. The choice is limited. Abandoned packages and libraries. UI can be easily broken. Apps are bigger than native ones. Disadvantages of Flutter versus React Native have many things in common. 
The matter is that they both are not native, and this implies some problems to the development. However, with proficient support and libraries, all disadvantages become minor. We recommend comparing the advantages and disadvantages of Flutter and React Native to find the points that are important to you. Conclusion React Native and Flutter both have their pros and cons, but Flutter came out as the winner in this match. Some of the industry experts have predicted that Flutter is the future of mobile app development. Considering the comparison above, it's clear that Flutter has entered the cross-platform mobile development race very strongly. Let's not predict the future but wait and watch. So I hope guys, you must have understood all these concepts very well. If you are new to the channel then like the video, subscribe to the channel, and tell in the comment box if you face any kind of problem. See you guys stay connected with us in the next video. And do what you love.